Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. The body of the late Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, arrived home this evening. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa was at the forefront of the ceremony, accompanied by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, senior royal family members, senior officers of Bahrain Defence Force, Interior Ministry and National Guard. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Order 44 of 2020, which appoints His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, as Prime Minister. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received a phone call from the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Premier and Defence Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. His Royal Highness the Saudi Crown Prince expressed sincere condolences and consolation to His Majesty the King over the demise of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. He prayed to Al the Almighty to rest the soul of the latest Royal Highness the Prime Minister in vast paradise and give His Majesty the King solace and fortitude. His Majesty the King expressed thanks to His Royal Highness the Saudi Crown Prince for his sincere condolences and consolation. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from Queen Elizabeth on the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. Queen Elizabeth said she and Prince Philip were saddened by the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa and extended her condolences to His Majesty the King, the Royal Family and the Government and the people of Bahrain. She prayed to God to give him eternal rest and for His Majesty and Bahrain to have the strength to bear the loss.
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from the President of Tunisia, Kiyas Said, on the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. The Tunisian President extended his condolences to His Majesty the King, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest the soul of the deceased in eternal peace. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from the Lebanese President Michelon over the demise of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister. Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa. He expressed deepest condolences and consolation to His Majesty the King, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest the soul of the latest Royal Highness the Premier in eternal peace. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa received a telephone call from the Prime Minister of Lebanon, Saad al Hariri, following the passing of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa. Al Hariri expressed deepest condolences and consolation to His Majesty the King, praying to the Allah the Almighty to rest the soul of the latest Royal Highness the Premier in eternal peace. For his part, His Majesty expressed thanks and appreciation for the Prime Minister's sentiments of condolence. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from the Yemeni President, Al Rabab Mansur Hadi over the demise of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. He extended deepest condolences to His Majesty the King, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest the soul of the latest Royal Highness the Prime Minister in eternal peace. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from the President of the Sovereign Council of Sudan, General Abdel Fattah Al Burhan over the demise of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. He extended deepest condolences to His Majesty the King, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest the soul of the latest Royal Highness the Prime Minister in eternal peace. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a call and a cable of condolences from the Iraqi President Baham Saleh over the demise of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. The Iraqi President expresses in this cable sincere condolences and consolation to His Majesty the King, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest the soul of the latest Royal Highness the Premier in vast paradise. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from the head of the Presidential Council of Libya and Prime Minister of the Government of National Accord, Fayez Al Sarraj, over the demise of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. He extended sincere condolences to His Majesty the King, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest the soul of the latest Royal Highness the Premier in eternal peace. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a telephone call from the President of Turkey, Recep Tayyip Erdogan. The Turkish President expressed heartfelt condolences to His Majesty the King over the demise of His Royal Highness, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest his soul in eternal peace and vast paradise. His Majesty the King expressed thanks and appreciation to the Turkish President for his consolatory feelings. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from His Majesty the Sultan of Brunei Dar es Salaam. His Majesty the Sultan Haji Hassan Al Bolokher following the demise of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. He extended heartfelt condolences to His Majesty the King, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest the soul of the deceased in eternal peace. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences and consolation from Philippines President Rodrigo Duterte following the demise of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. He extended deepest condolences to His Majesty the King. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today received a cable of condolences and consolation from the Sultan and ruler of Jahar, Malaysia. His Majesty Sultan Ibrahim ibn Al Mahon Sultan Iskandar Al Hajj, following the demise of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. His Majesty Sultan Ibrahim expressed heartfelt condolences and consolation to His Majesty the King, praying to Allah the Almighty to bless His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa with mercy and rest his soul in vast paradise. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from Bangladesh Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina Wazid over the demise of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. 
Prime Minister Hasina Wazad extended on behalf of the Bangladeshi people and government deepest condolences to His Majesty the King, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest the soul of the deceased in eternal peace. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from Maldives President Ibrahim Mohamed Saleh following the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. He extended deepest condolences to His Majesty the King, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest the soul of the deceased in eternal peace. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from Italian Prime Minister Giuseppe Conte following the demise of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince, a Deputy Supreme Commander and Prime Minister, remotely chaired an extraordinary cabinet meeting. During the meeting, the cabinet issued a statement mourning the loss of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, in which it extended its deepest condolences to His Majesty the King, to the Royal Family and to the citizens of the Kingdom, following the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. The statement said that the Kingdom of Bahrain the region and Arab and Islamic nations have lost a wise leader who sacrificed his life in service to his king and country through a remarkable journey of achievement that will be remembered long into the future. The cabinet recalled with great pride and appreciation His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa's significant personal contribution to the kingdom's development, which played a pivotal role in advancing the kingdom's progress and realising the needs of Bahrain citizens across all fields particularly politically, economically and socially. His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa will remain an immortal national symbol of generosity and dedication and may God bless his soul in eternal peace. In accordance with the statement issued by the Royal Court, the burial ceremony will be held on Friday and will be limited to close relatives. The funeral will be held during Saturday and Sunday, during which foreign dignitaries will pay their respects. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted his unwavering allegiance to His Majesty the King following his appointment as Prime Minister, affirming his commitment to ensuring the Kingdom's continued development to benefit citizens and fulfil His Majesty the King's vision. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince commended the noble virtues of the latest Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman, recalling with pride and appreciation his experience of working closely with him in leading the government. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince noted his Royal Highness Prince Khalifa's achievements in serving His Majesty the King, in developing the Kingdom and assuring its prosperity. The Cabinet extended the best wishes to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince on his new appointment and stressed the commitment to supporting His Royal Highness during his endeavours as Prime Minister. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, the Deputy Supreme Commander and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed loyalty and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for his confidence in appointing him as Prime Minister. His Royal Highness affirmed his ongoing loyalty and commitment to meet the requirements of this national duty, to realise the vision of His Majesty the King and to achieve more for the country and the citizens. His Royal Highness praised the many achievements of His Royal Highness the late Prime Minister with pride and appreciation, whose work have developed the country and government in the service of His Majesty the King and the Kingdom. The Cabinet wished His Royal Highness the Crown Prince success in serving the country. The Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, made a statement on behalf of the Cabinet in which he expressed thanks for all messages of condolences and consolation on the passing of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. He said the Cabinet was led by His Royal Highness the late Premier for almost 50 years, all of which was dedicated to the service of the country. He served under the late Emir, Sheikh Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, his Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa, up to the present era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The Deputy Premier said that His Royal Highness the late Premier represented a father and a friend to all, which makes it the duty to recognise his many contributions. He prayed to God to rest his soul in eternal peace. The Deputy Premier then praised the appointment of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, as Prime Minister, who enjoys the full confidence of His Majesty the King, the leader of Bahrain's process of development and progress. 
He wished His Royal Highness the Crown Prince success in carrying the process of development and progress further. On behalf of the members of the Cabinet, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, Deputy Prime Minister, delivered an address which reads, In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, allow me to join you in expressing condolences on the sad passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. May Allah rest his soul in peace. The late His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman was a great leader of the cabinet for nearly 50 years and has sacrificed his whole life serving the kingdom. His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman has served the reigns of the late Emir of Bahrain, His Greatness Sheikh Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, as well as the late Emir of Bahrain, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and the glorious reign of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The late His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman was a father figure, a brother, a friend and a mentor to us all, providing us all with the opportunity to contribute to the Kingdom's progress and development over the years. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, a Deputy Supreme Commander and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received a cable of condolences from the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabba Al Subah, on the demise of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. The Emir of Kuwait expressed his deepest condolences and consolation to His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness also received two cables from the Crown Prince of Kuwait. His Highness Michel Al Ahmed Al Jabba Al Suba, and the Prime Minister of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Suba Khalid Al Hamid Al Suba. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince, a Deputy Supreme Commander and Prime Minister, received a telephone call from His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, the Crown Prince, a Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defence of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. During the call, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia extended his condolences to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince over the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince thanked His Royal Highness the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia for his condolences and sympathy. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, a Deputy Supreme Commander and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received a cable of condolences from the Crown Prince of Jordan. His Royal Highness Prince Al Hussein bin Abdullah II, following the passing of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. He extended his sincere condolences to His Royal Highness, members of the Royal Family and the people of Bahrain. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince, the Deputy Supreme Commander and Prime Minister, received a telephone call from the Iraqi President Baham Saleh. During the call, the Iraqi President extended his condolences to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince over the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince thanked His Royal Highness the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia for his condolences and sympathy. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, a Deputy Supreme Commander and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from Oman's Deputy Prime Minister for Cabinet Affairs, His Highness Fahad bin Mahmoud Al Said, in which he expressed heartfelt condolences on the demise of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, praying Allah Al Almighty to rest his soul in peace. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from the Vice President of Yemen, General al Musan Saleh, following the passing of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. He extended deepest condolences to His Royal Highness, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest the soul of the deceased in eternal peace. His Royal Highness received a similar cable from the Yemeni Prime Minister, Dr. Muin Abdul Malik Saeed. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince also received a telephone call from the Prime Minister of Tunisia, Hisham Michichi, following the passing of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. During the call, the Tunisian Premier extended his sincere condolences to His Royal Highness and prayed for the soul of the deceased to rest in eternal peace. 
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of condolence from the President of Pakistan, Imran Khan, following the passing of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. He extended his sincere condolences to His Royal Highness and prayed for the soul of the deceased to rest in eternal peace. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, the Deputy Supreme Commander and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, today received a cable of condolences from His Majesty Sultan Haji Hassanal bin Sheikh Brunei Sultan Dar es Salaam over the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, in which His Majesty extended his deepest condolences. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, a Deputy Supreme Commander and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received a cable of condolences from Bangladesh Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina Wazid over the demise of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, in which he extended, on behalf of the Bangladeshi people and government, deepest condolences to His Royal Highness, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest the soul of the deceased in eternal peace. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nas bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed condolences to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the passing of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. He also expressed condolences to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, the Deputy Supreme Commander and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, along with Deputy Prime Minister His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's advisor, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the Royal Family and the people of Bahrain. He prayed to God to rest His Royal Highness the late Prime Minister's soul in eternal peace. His Highness Sheikh Nasser said that His Royal Highness the late Premier made great contributions and offered an example in sincere and diligent work in the service of the Kingdom of Bahrain and its people, which helped in the development of the country in all fields. He said that His Royal Highness the late Premier's legacy will remain in the living memory of Bahrain in the present and the future. His Highness remembered the many contributions of His Royal Highness the late Premier in the process of development as well as his comprehensive support for the people of Bahrain and meeting their needs in all fields. He added that His Royal Highness the late Premier also represented a role model to be emulated worldwide thanks to his many global initiatives which taught the world many lessons in serving the people and developing them in all fields. His Highness Sheikh Nas concluded the statement by affirming that this represents a great loss for the Arab, Islamic and global communities thanks to his long history of diligent work and far-sighted vision in the interests of all and who dedicated his life to safeguarding the achievements of Bahrain and its security and stability in all fields along with serving the Arab, Islamic and global communities as well. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed condolences to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the demise of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. He also expressed condolences to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, a Deputy Supreme Commander and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, along with Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's advisor, his Highness Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the Royal Family and the People of Bahrain. He prayed to God to rest His Royal Highness the late Prime Minister's soul in eternal peace. His Highness Sheikh Khalid recalled the achievements and contributions of the latest Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman. His Highness stated that since the late Prince assumed his duties as Prime Minister, he was the supporter of the late Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa in order to assist the development and progress of the Kingdom. He was also the best support to continue the approach that His Majesty the King has adopted to achieve all aspirations that contribute to the continuation of developmental sustainability for the prosperity of the Kingdom and for the provision of a decent life for citizens. The latest Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa shouldered many national responsibilities that he has ensured are fully fulfilled since he assumed the position of Prime Minister in 1971. More in this report.
The late His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa was a man who does not recognize half measures and seeks to fulfill all that is in the interest of Bahrain's prosperity and development. He is the one who sought, through his wise guidance to the government work team, to develop strategies and plans aimed at strengthening the national economy and diversifying its sources. With the insight to the late His Royal Highness, who succeeded in reading the global economic scene and the disruption and turmoil that may befall it, the national economy was diversified so as not to solely rely on oil as a source of national income, which led to the creation of multiple and varied development opportunities in commerce, banking, tourism, and others of the vital sectors. All the decisions adopted by His Royal Highness the late Prince and with the blessing of His Majesty the King and the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad al Khalifa, all have been closely linked to the basic principles of the Bahrain Economic Vision 2030, which is characterized by sustainability, competitiveness and justice, which has led and continues to lead to a strong economic growth that benefits the people of Bahrain. The late His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman contributed to commercial and financial indicators by setting effective government strategies and plans, which also led to an increase in foreign direct investment and amounted to nearly $13 billion. These are examples with significant indications of the contributions of the late His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa to the comprehensive development process, so that Bahrain remains at the level of development desired by the late Prince. The latest Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa embodied the highest fatherly relations with all citizens and residents in the kingdom. More in this report. The late Prince has always been the wise father and teacher with long insight and experience, who loved the country and its people and supported them. The stories that the late Prince lived with the people of Bahrain detail the relationship between the caring father and his children as his preoccupation was to relieve their distress, help them to overcome their concerns and challenges, and share their joys and sorrows. He suffered for their pain and rejoiced in their joy. The Bahraini people found in the late Prince Khalifa bin Salman humble fatherly qualities. He ensured that every rightful person was given his or her right, and his field visits to the various regions of Bahrain and his direct meetings with citizens as well as his majesties attest to this. He loved all the regions of Bahrain, which still kept the memories of the historical moments and friendly situations. He is the prince whom words fail to describe, generous and noble. It is not possible to turn a blind eye to his numerous and continuous initiatives to preserve the rights and dignity of citizens, secure the best life services for them, and reject any harm that may befall them. Prince Khalifa bin Salman was loved by the young and the old. He was known for his compassion and sympathy for all, and will forever remain in our hearts and thoughts.